YouTubers, this is Len Mooney here today, and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a Japan Nintendo eShop account. I've been looking online to see if someone has posted a video to this or something similar to it, but I haven't found one where it's for Japan. So I'm going to help you with that. Because if you don't set up uh, an account online and you try to download something, you might experience that you'll get something like this with an exclamation mark. Uh, it won't properly download until you've made a Japan Nintendo uh, a Japanese eShop account. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. You can try to you can do it in. Uh, my stylus is missing. Where'd it go? Okay, I found it. Alrighty, found the stylus. Uh, you can do this in different ways. Um, I'm just going to show you to get, go to it in the settings section, or you can go to the the eShop, try to download a game, and then it'll prompt you for to get a uh, Japan Nintendo eShop account set up. So I'm going to go to settings. This is just one of the ways that you can do it. And over here, I'm going to, of course, move this so that you can you guys can see what I'm about to click on. You're going to click on this right here, Nintendo eShop ID. Click on it. Because I, I noticed that, of course, the top screen is brighter and the bottom screen is not as clear and stuff, so I'll, I'll, I'll of course, uh, angle it so that you guys can see better. Um, then it's talking to you about setting up one, an ID, and... Pretty much we're going to be looking at the bottom screen because the top one's not important really right now. You're going to click to the right. Uh, click to the right again. And again. And then this one it's saying if you, I think if you want to have, say for instance you have a Wii U ID or something like that. And if you want to connect your Wii U ID or to have like I think maybe the same ID as your Wii U for your 3DS but I want my 3DS to be separate different so I'm going to click on this one because my Wii U is from the USA not a Japanese Wii U so I'm going to click on here and I'm going to click on the right hand side again and then you just scroll down through this kind of explains to you some stuff that I can't really read click again to the right and you're gonna click this little box here scroll down agree to the stuff that it wants you to agree on and then here what you're gonna do is your date of birth so four digits here uh, the month that you were born and the day you were born click if you are male or female um, I guess this is the area of where you live in Japan. I just normally leave it like this where it's set. This one will be your ID. Make sure that it's long enough or whatever that requi the requirements in order for it to be an ID. Uh, a lot of times if it does not like the ID that you have uh, put in inputted or whatever, it will pop up again with a whole bunch of red... Um, red... lettering and stuff um, in Japanese and so that means you just have to input another ID and that 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 it will actually like normally you have to have one capital or something uh, a number or a sign or something like that so you gotta do that what this one what this part will be is your password so put in your password and then you're going to re-enter your password and then here is your email Put your email in here, and then re-enter your email, and then after you've gotten all those settings straightened out, you're going to click on this. So, first off, let's see here. Like it says here, you know, you put your, what year you're born and everything, month, day, and then here, click if you're male or female. If you want to change this to, I think, the different locations and stuff in Japan, you can. It just shows up a list, and I'm just going to keep it the way it's just set on right there. And then your own ID right here. And this stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-enter that real quickly away from the camera. Okay? 
So, right now I'm going to be putting in my Miiverse ID. For me, what I did for this one is I put two capitals, a couple lowercase, and two numbers in this one. And um, it likes the ID. For the password, you know, try to make it not, you know, just put in a password that it will like. If it doesn't like it, then it'll show up as a which I'm a doodle. It'll show up that it doesn't like it with the red lettering. So re retype another password in until it actually is satisfied with the password that you have entered. And then I'm going to put in here email. The email one is the last one that you have to re-enter. And I'm almost done, people. I'm almost there. I'm hoping while I'm doing this, if, if you guys have a Japanese 3DS that you're doing this with me. If you're not, then this is a good for future reference. And... Okay, I've entered everything. First thing that you do is, uh, you know, date of birth, female, uh, origin, place in Japan. Uh, I just left it the way it was. Then you put your ID, then password, re-enter password, email, re-enter email, and then you click on the right, down at the bottom right, and then you'll click again at the bottom right because then it'll prompt you to click again at the bottom right once everything is set up correctly and then you click yes I honestly don't know like it gives you after this it gives you two options at the bottom after after your um, ID your passwords and your email is set up it'll prompt you for these two things I honestly don't know what the difference is I know there's a difference but I'm just gonna leave it the way it is and click OK uh, so do that, click OK, clicking OK, and something about clicking OK again, and click this, click this again, and click at the bottom OK, and click this. And I should have it set up now. So we're going to exit out of here, and we're going to go to the eShop. Because I have this for my Ice White 3DS, but then whenever I was looking at this one, I'm like, oh, I haven't set up a Japan eShop yet for this one. So I'm going back to the Nintendo eShop for Japan real quick and seeing if it worked. Scrolling down, click OK. This is... It prompted me for something, and I just kind of clicked out of it real quick, and I didn't actually read it. <laughs> I was like, what am I putting there? I'm like, I think you have to put in your username, or the, the ID that you just inputted whenever you did the, um, the setup for the Japan eShop. So let me try to see if that's it real quick. Let's see. It's maybe. Let me check real quick. Let's see. Or maybe it's not, maybe it's the password? Let's see. Let me check. Because what I just did right now is I just inputted the password. Let's see. Okay, that's what it was. Okay. Once you get everything set up and you go on to the eShop, it'll prompt you for this little thing that shows that you need to put some, some stuff in. And I didn't know for sure, like, ID or not. And I'm like, no, it didn't say that it wanted the ID. 
and I'm just like, okay then, I don't think it was the email, so I put in my password that I just made, and that's what it was, and I didn't click on the little checkbox, I just put in the password, then I clicked on the thing that says yes to continue or okay and stuff, and then it will prompt you here to, it'll prompt you here to enter ID and your password, and then this will pop up going to the new screen to the next screen so let me do that real quick so you're gonna put your ID and password that you just made just made a password okay that's set and then password okay so once you put that stuff in you're going to click to your right, and an error occurred. Why is that? Oh, I think I know why. I think I know why. Um, one second, everybody. This might take just one or two minutes real quick. I'll try to do this in like a couple of seconds, but I'm, I'm guessing I know why that error pops up. They're going to, uh, Japan is going to send you, eShop of Japan is going to send you a an email to your account that you've just set up as your email account. And it's going to say, uh, it's going to say, please verify that this email is correct and everything. And more than likely, what you have to do is verify on your computer or tablet where you're at that you verify that email to be used for the Japan Nintendo eShop before this will go on, I think. So I'm going to do that real quick. I just confirmed the email address and everything, and maybe it should work now. That is so strange. Oh, okay. Well, I, I exit out of that, and it let me into the eShop. I don't know what happened, but you want to make sure, um, everybody, that whenever you do set up your email, that you check your computer, because eShop of Japan will send you an email saying please verify that this is the email that we're going to be using for your account and you click the link and the link will say oh, it'll take you there and it'll say okay we've received your confirmation thank you and stuff like that so I'm going to try to download a free little thing that's called RPG free let's see if it downloads unlike the other one that has an exclamation mark to it I don't know, it's just, I forgot, like, I even forgot kind of how to do this process, honestly. I'm just, like, scatterbrained, because I'm like, I don't remember, I am i don't do it this that often whatsoever, so I'm just like, what? But yes, I'd like to say thank you very much for all of you guys being patient with me, uh, where I had to get up and confirm that email and stuff, and to get my stylus thank you very much for your patience and everything is actually downloading normally now so yay it was a success I hope this video was informative to you guys the people out there who are trying to set up a Japan eShop account I hope this helped and um, yeah this is pretty much it for my video thank you all for watching see you later Bye-bye.